Now then, welcome to another video. So as a break from painting my 28mm medieval stuff, I've decided to just have a bit of a break and paint something completely different. So what you can see there is a West German force from about 1984, 1985-ish um, that I've collected for Seven Days to the River Rhine, uh, which is a game by Great Escape Games. Um, really fun. Um, I played a couple of sort of test games using a friend of mine's uh, British force. Um, and it's quite big at the club, everyone seems to be getting into it. So I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon, collect myself a little force. You don't really need much. That, that what you can see in front of you there, is a good afternoon uh, of gaming, really. About a thousand odd points there. Um, I think for a decent game, you only need about 600 points. So, yeah, that's what I've collected. Um, all these figures are Battlefront or 15 mil. Um, they work perfect for seven days to River Rhine. They can do it in any scale you want. This is my battle group commander um, in the Leopard 2. This is kind of based off a, a Leopard troop with attached infantry and a bit of recce. Some of the bits and pieces attached to it. Um, there's no hard and fast sort of organisation you have to follow in seven days to River Rhine. Um, it's kind of whatever's thrown together. Um, these like ad hoc sort of little battle groups and things. It's quite cool. It's a fun game as well. So there's the uh, the Leopard Two commander, and he's accompanying him. He's got his. Uh, he's, I've got five Leopard Twos. Um, I'll show you these attack helicopters. So these are Messerschmitt Bo one hundred fives. Um, Andrew the rockets. They come in handy. I really enjoy painting all these, although I have broken this, broken both of these helicopters a couple of times um, because I'm a clumsy oaf. But yeah, magnetize them so they can hold on to flight stands. Right, I'll shift these out of the way. Um, and then over here, let's get that back in focus. There we are. Um, I've got some infantry. So I've got three infantry stands. Um, there we are, I'll get that in focus. Yep, just West German infantry again, battlefront, these are metal figures. All right. Um and I've got two Milan stands. These are Milan's and the tank guided weapons. Lethal against tanks. Hide them on the edge of the woods or in buildings and things are an absolute pain to get rid of. Um and they're all transported in Marders. And these are the Marder 1s, the earlier model. Um, they've got the automated turret on top with a Milan system built in. And these carry a stand of infantry or support stand. Cool. Behind those, we've got some a couple of Gepards. And these are the, obviously the German variant with a German type um, radar system on top. That's the Gepards, they're on, built on a Leopard 1 chassis. Just with a big anti-aircraft gun on top. Watched a couple of YouTube videos of these firing. Pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the Gepards. And then, to finish the little force off, I got myself some Lux armoured cars. These are the eight-wheelers that the West Germans used. I think these have been replaced now by, I think it's a Boxers. Boxer family of vehicles. Um, but yeah. Well, those are antennas on the back of these. Um, I did look at a load of reference photos and they actually did have these three antennas on. So I'm not sure what they were all for. But being recce, I suppose they report to higher formations and got different radio sets for different, um, you know, different commands. So one would be like into troop so the vehicles can speak to each other and there'd be one to the battalion then one up to brigade level or something like that i'd imagine um i think radio systems are a bit more advanced these days so you probably do it all through one antenna but not back in the 80s so anyway talking rubbish that's the looks i think it's armed with a 20 mil cannon or 20 mil auto cannon there they're pretty cool yeah, so four of those. And that's all you need, really, for a Seven Days to River Rhine Force. 
Um, I probably don't even need that much to be honest, but what I will do, I think I might just um, add a few engineering vehicles and things just for scenarios. Maybe get some uh, um, bridge building vehicles, bridge carrying vehicles, things like that, just so you can set different scenarios up. Um, maybe an ambulance or something like that, that kind of thing, just to add to it. But I don't really need much more. It's just a small project, just tide me over, um, keep me out of trouble while I build up some more stuff to start my French army uh, for the Hundred Years' War. So anyway, I think I've waffled on enough there. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much for watching, um, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye-bye.